Hey everybody, so I got a quick um, video. I'm building um, a new tire setup for my barbecue. So please stick around. I'll run you through what I've done so far. And thank you for watching and I'll see you there. Hey everybody, so I'm gonna give you an update on the barbecue. Um, so I got my 60 volt DeWalt resip and I got my 60 volt grind, angle grinder out and I was using my 996 drill from the wall. I picked up these from Harbor Freight. They're just, you know, seven, six, ninety-nine dollar rims with um, solid rubber tires. So I got the, the actual new shaft cut, shortened, and drilled for these pins. So here's the pins. I use an 11 64ths drill bit and a 5 8 shaft. Um, this is just steel round stock that I got from Home Depot for $8. Um, so I drilled the holes. I might have later down the road, I might actually thread the end um, and put a, a nut on it. I don't know, but this will this will at least hold it for now. I got the washers. So what looked best to me was two washers on the back. Two washers against the frame. And then one in front of the rim. So I got all that set up. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. was drill out the hole to 5 8 a little bit over 5 8 so the shaft would fit I used the step bit uh, both sides here's the other rim so all I got to do is put the, the shaft on and uh, put the washers and everything on so I'm gonna record it and let you guys see that so, here's the tripod. Take this off the tripod. There you go. Put these pins out. I don't remember um, what size these pins are. I just got a variety pack from Harbor Freight. One, two washers, and a wheel. Oh. 
Sorry about the noise, guys. Set it on my leg. like I did it almost perfect just enough get it in there yeah very much room so at least my measurements were right there's maybe one eighth of an inch on that side well it's this side yeah, about one eighth of an inch on this side also. So, that's it guys. So these are not pneumatic tires, they're just solid rubber tires, they're eight inch. Um, turned out great. And uh, let me show you the crappy old one. Both of the plastic wheels just snapped. So these are what the plastic wheels were. You see that they just snap. And the old rod is this quarter inch rod right here. And the rod bent. Uh, so. So I upgraded it to a thicker rod of 5 8 for the wheels. Nice solid wheels. The barbecue is uh, it's standing straight. So it's an old barbecue. It's got to be about 15 years old. So hey everybody, so I'm just gonna give a tool list and an item list um, that I picked up to do this project. Five eight bar still round stock from Home Depot I don't remember what length it was it was just standard length it was about eight dollars fifty cents or so I used this red Lauren um, five inch vise that I got from uh, tractor supply I used a if I can get around here I used a DeWalt 60 volt uh, reciprocating saw. I used a D uh, Diablo Demon bimetal blade. Um, which is right here. I used the DeWalt 996 hammer drill, which any drill um, will work. It doesn't have to be hammer drill. Use it on 
setting one, uh, speed one, uh, clutch one, I think it was clutch like two or three, something like that. DeWalt 60 volt grinder with a four and a half inch cutoff wheel. I used the grinder for um, rounding off the end, end of the, the round stock to make it a round bevel. I used long lasting multi-purpose oil, three in one oil. I used a chameleon self-lock 12 foot tape measure from Walmart. I used a warrior center punch um, from Harbor Freight. I used a Milwaukee Inkzol permanent marker I got at Home Depot. Oops. Oh. I used a warrior titanium high speed steel drill bit set 29 piece set i used the 11 64th drill bit from this warrior set i got it hard right and two um five eighths uh grade eight um washers for the rear behind the, the tire and one in front of the tire for both sides so it's Six total, um, and I used some quick pins. These are two and seven. I think they're two and seven eighths long. That's what they are, um, and they're a little bit smaller than eleven sixty fourth. So. I would assume it's probably a like a one eighth or maybe a nine sixty fourth, something like that. Just a tiny bit smaller than the eleven sixty fourth hole that I made. And also picked up eight inch solid rubber tires from Harbor Freight. And that's what the finished product looks like on this side. And looks like it's standing perfectly straight. So it's just an item list to figure it. I'd run down the items and the tools I used. Um, hopefully that helps if anybody wants to do this project on a charbroil. 10 or 15 year old uh, propane grill. See you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Uh, check out my Amazon affiliate links and check the all button on um, after you click subscribe and the bell. Check the all button, that's a thing now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.